In early December 1862, 303 Sioux prisoners were convicted of murder and rape by military tribunals and sentenced to death. Many of the trials lasted under five minutes. For the accused, there were no defense attorneys to represent them. No one explained the proceedings. In today's world, these trials would have been considered illegal and inhumane. After the convictions, President Lincoln reviewed the files and he distinguished between who had engaged in warfare against U.S. citizens were those who had competed in rape or murder against civilians. We don't have to blame the Washichos anymore. We're doing it to ourselves. We're selling drugs. We're killing our own people. And that's what this rides about. It's healing. On December 26, 1862, the condemned men, 38 of them, were led to their fate. They went to their death in a stoic and calm manner that astounded the soldiers. Today, the biggest mass execution in U.S. history.